I just stumbled upon something that Google is testing. And if they make this change permanent, which I think they will, it's going to completely change the way you do search engine optimization. If we haven't met before, my name is Matt Diggity, and I'm the founder of SEO Businesses, Diggity Marketing, LeadSpring, The Search Initiative, The Affiliate Lab, and the Chiang Mai SEO Conference. What you're about to see was recently brought to my attention in my Facebook group, The Affiliate SEO Mastermind. One of the group members, Sue Hale, was chilling on YouTube, probably watching some killer SEO videos from yours truly. Eventually, he ended up typing into the YouTube search bar, are curved TVs good for gaming? This is what he found. Right smack here, you see a quote, result from the web, and it gives a textual non-video answer to his question on YouTube, mind you. And when you click on that link, it pops up a full article from techpenny.com. Why is this significant? According to these statistics from SimilarWeb, Google gets 89.3 billion visitors per month. But YouTube is nothing to sneeze at either. It's the second most popular search engine after Google. So now your content has a chance to be picked up on both platforms, pulling in way more traffic. And this is especially true for your how-to queries, of which YouTube is a platform of choice, like how to plant a tree, how to shotgun a beer, and how to shave a cat. So when YouTube brings up an answer like this, where does it get it from? The featured snippet. This is a Google feature that gives a short answer to a search query right here at the top of the search result. It scans the text in your article and displays the part that answers the question. As you can see here, the featured snippet on Google is exactly the same as the short answer that we saw earlier on YouTube. Users love featured snippets. I mean, if you Google something like, how old is Paul Rudd? Wait a second, he's 53? Back on track, if you Google how old someone is, it's better if you get the answer right away rather than having to click into an article and find the answer. On the other hand, webmasters like you and me generally don't like featured snippets. If the searcher gets their answer from Google's result page, then they don't need to click your article to get it. And that means no traffic. Just look at this graphic from Ahrefs. If you have the number one result when there's no featured snippet, you get 26% of the clicks from Google. When you have a featured snippet, you get freaking 8.6%. That sucks. Hell, I've even used a no snippet tag to prevent Google from using my content in a snippet. And sure enough, I got more traffic as a second result. But if we're now gonna start getting YouTube traffic from the snippet, this changes the game. Especially if you can grab the featured snippet from a lower position on Google. And I'm gonna show you how to do that very soon with live examples. At the end of the day, you're still gonna do your normal SEO tasks. Content, content optimization, links, and so forth. But in every single article, especially how-to articles, you wanna start specifically optimizing for the featured snippet. Optimizing for the snippet requires a different strategy. You wanna laser focus on specific areas of your content to make them snippet friendly. And if you do it right, you can be on position 10 on Google and still jump to number one when you win the snippet. I'm about to show you how to capture the feature snippet to get both Google and YouTube traffic. And I'm actually going to show a live demonstration of me stealing feature snippets to show that my tactics work. And if you think you know how to do this already, I bet you're going to learn some new tricks using my methods. But real quick, I'd like to invite you to join my free SEO training masterclass. It goes over everything I'm doing today to get sites to the top of Google. Just click the link in the pin comment to book your spot. Now back to them snippets. The first thing you want to do is identify which keywords you're targeting actually have a snippet in the search result. You can do this manually by googling keywords that you're targeting and inspect if they have snippets or not. Or I like to use Ahrefs Site Explorer. Go to the organic keywords report, filter for SERP features, then check featured snippet. Since you don't care about featured snippets you already have, you can set up a position filter from two to six to show the opportunities that are close within your grasp. And bam, here's a list of keywords with snippets that will soon be mine. The next thing you want to do is figure out your position in the snippet queue. What did you say? Yes, there's actually a separate ranking list of who's next in line for the featured snippet. I'll show you what I mean. If you look at the search best rank tracker tools, the first keyword I'm going to try to steal, growthbarseo.com has a featured snippet. But if you type in best rank tracker tools minus growthbarseo.com, it's going to filter that domain from the search and there's now quicksprout.com with the snippet. Now, if you do that one more time and remove quicksprout from the result, you'll see my site Diggity Marketing. So essentially, I'm the third best piece of snippet content. This is important to know because I'm about to make some changes to my content in order to capture the featured snippet. So I want to know if the changes I made helped or hurt. But real quick, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that's NutriProfits. NutriProfits is a CPA affiliate program in the health and wellness space. What makes them special? Up to 40% commissions, lifetime cookies, coverage in over 100 countries, and a huge variety of premium health offers. Plus, right now they're organizing a contest where affiliates can win up to $20,000. Sign up as a NutriProfits affiliate and then head to the content tab to join. The contest starts soon, so click the link in the description to get a head start. Now back to the video. 
Next, it's time to optimize for the snippet. And that boils down to a two-step process. First, you want to replicate the format that the snippet is using, and then you want to improve upon it. Let's start with replicating the format. Going back to the best rank tracker tool snippet, you'll see that we have a title up here at the top, what are the best rank tracker tools, and then an ordered list of different tools. Google is actually extracting this data from their content. Here's an H2 in their article, what are the best rank tracker tools? And each of these numbered tools is an H3, which Google is using to make that list. So if I want a shot at the snippet, I need to do something similar. Other times you might get a table in the featured snippet, so you need to do the same. And sometimes the snippet is as simple as a sentence that they extracted from an article as with this keyword, organic SEO consultants. And as before, you need to create the same format in your content for a shot at the snippet. But just because you copied the format, it isn't a guarantee that you'll get it. You need to improve upon it. Here's a few tricks. The first is to optimize the nearest heading. Going back to best rank tracker tools, you see up here that they have what are the best rank tracker tools right above their list. The fact that they have the keyword in that heading is a big big help for them getting the snippet. I'm a dummy and I put a non-optimized dedicated rank tracker tools before my list. So it's no wonder they're superior. After a quick adjustment, bam, now my heading is optimized. Later on, we'll see if this did the trick. Here's another keyword, how to learn affiliate marketing. There's a bunch of ads up here at the top and here's a snippet from Shopify, but they don't have a perfectly optimized heading. Their heading says how to start affiliate marketing. We can optimize better than they can. Of course, mine wasn't optimized at all because I'm dumb, but with a little magic, now I'm optimized exactly for how to learn affiliate marketing. And because this is a how-to keyword, which are prevalent on YouTube, this has an even greater chance of getting YouTube traffic. Another strategy, and this especially works with textual featured snippets, is to give an NLP-friendly answer. With definitional queries like, what is a mortgage, or just straight up mortgage, you typically get an answer back like, a mortgage is blah blah blah, where they define what it is. When you put it in a simple format like this, keyword is blah blah blah, that makes it super easy for the algorithm to understand that you've given an answer and ups the chances of you getting the snippet. Let's go back to that organic SEO consultants keyword. You can see that the website with the snippet indeed defines it in that format. Since I'm the worst SEO on the planet, I don't define it anywhere in my entire article, but I do now, so there. So at this point, you want Google to start noticing your changes. Go over to the Google Search Console URL submit tool to speed up the process. So I submit these URLs for recrawl at 10.52 a.m. my time. Let's see how long it takes to get some snippets, that is if I get any at all. Now in the meantime, there's more snippet stealing tactics than this. So if you want a deeper dive, check out my course, The Affiliate Lab. Now let's check out those results. It's been about three days since I made those adjustments and submit the URLs to Google Search Console. Here's the results. Best rank tracker tools, nailed it. Looks like optimizing the H2 right above the list did the trick but how to learn affiliate marketing I struggled with. This one was locked down by Shopify earlier and they still have it. I actually made an additional optimization outside of the H2 with this mini table of contents underneath it, but alas, I still couldn't win it. Sometimes you just can't win them all, especially when you're up against a DR95 behemoth like Shopify. That said, I do have one more last trick I wanna try. If you're interested, leave a comment and I'll let you know what it is and if it worked. Now about that last keyword, organic SEO consultants. Gotcha, my NLP friendly answer slid into the featured snippet like you into that hottie's DMs on a drunk Friday night. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.